All right, we are back. All right, let's see what could be in this mysterious chest that Allison did not want us to look through. It could be cursed. It could be booby trapped. But I have a feeling that she's um hiding something embarrassing. Thank you for the welcome back, Litchie. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, her photo album. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Hey, this is your mom's photo album. What's this doing here? It's... Well... Okay, so when I was 18, I was trying to start fresh. I wanted to shake off some of that middle and high school dweebiness, you know? Kind of like remaking on social media. So after my mom left, I kind of hid this old photo album of hers filled with embarrassing photos of me in a cave so no one would ever see it. <laughs> you hid it in a cave? You could have hid it in your own house. What if someone else found it? <laughs> wow. And I thought I was melodramatic. Hey, Nova. Welcome to the stream. Guys, please make sure to check out Nova. Nova does a lot of art, does a lot of model work, and also plays the games. Mostly Warhammer. <laughs> Mostly a lot of Warhammer. <laughs> Uh, why no Kurt? Uh, Kurt's unfortunately still at work, so I'm biding the time until she's free. That's why I'm- I'm missing my- my Kurtness by, uh, having gay dates on this game. <laughs> you do not stream? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I guess I might have been a bit much. You know what this means, though, right? I've got to see what's in this photo album. What? No way. Oh, come on. How bad could it be? Melody, back me up here. Aren't you curious? I mean, I've probably seen most of them before. If we dug enough, I'd, we'd probably find even some photos of me. You know what? Fine. It's probably not that embarrassing. Just a quick peek, though, okay? Aw, oh, that's cute. That's a cute picture. Look at her. She's adorable. Her mom's pretty, too. Oh my god, is that your mom? Choose your next words carefully, Claire. Oh, I was just gonna say she looks like a total badass. I'd definitely buy all the stories you told me about her now. What? You didn't believe them before? How old is this one? You look really young here. How am I? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. By the way, happy Valentine's Day. I'm hitting on mom. I can say someone pretty without hitting on them. I didn't say, whoa, god damn, she's hot. Gotta, <laughs> gotta kiss that. Oh, uh, oops, I skipped some. I think this is before we moved here, so maybe four or five? Which explains why my hair is a total mess. It's hard to remember a time when you didn't spend an hour a day on your hair. What's next? <laughs> ah, nice hat. Who's this? Do you have a sibling I don't know about? That's... me. Oh my god? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had a scene face for a brief period in high school. I know, it's stupid. No way, it's cool. You were just expressing yourself. My parents would have killed me if I tried something that extreme. Anyway, next. No, that's out of context! God damn it. You misspelled it anyway. <laughs> if only Nova could spell. Look how cute she looks here. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Your mom dressed you up as a carrot? I was one year old. What the hell was I supposed to do? Oh man, that is just great. The humble origins of the legendary hero, Alison Galetta. Yeah, I definitely remember why I hit this thing. Oh, relax. I'm only teasing. This is all adorable. You should be thankful your mom preserved all these happy memories for you. Eh, yeah. I guess you're right. Well, that was fun, but now we're still stuck in a cave. A cave that, if I remember correctly, should be on the other side of town. Something is definitely going on around here. Wow, you figured it out. Good job, Nova. Good job. Um, Allison, is this normal for the cave? 
Allison, you've said you've been in this cave before, right? Has this void always been down here? Yeah, no. Wow, this is incredible. It sort of looks like the fabric of reality is falling apart. Oh god. Why does that quote keep coming up, Nova? You're such a menace. No, it just looks like we're back in your dungeon and that weird magic effect you had going on with the floor is leaking out. Or something. Quit trying to freak us out with your bonding through danger stick. No, I really mean it. This is not part of the dungeon I designed. Okay, Claire, listen. It is is it possible that maybe when summoning the dust bunnies you got a little more than you bargained for? Not a chance. I was incredibly careful about this. It takes much more energy to summon more powerful creatures. I only used a small amount of mana to summon exactly as many dust bunnies as I needed. You a menace? Yes, you. You are a menace. No, I think we've stumbled upon something else. Is this my couch? A sofa? Well then. Looks like a pretty nice one, too. Hey, you know, I could really go for a nap. I'm pretty tired from all this dungeon business. I think I'm gonna pop a squat on the couch and pass out for a little bit. Really? Right here? In this part of the dungeon that shouldn't even exist? I'm a sleepy bunny, Claire. I wasn't expecting to go on some wild dungeon adventure today. I need a sec to recharge. I could probably use a little rest, too. Also, there's absolutely no way I'm going on ahead without Allison. Of course. Well, I suppose rest could do us some good. Let us take a power nap. You do no such thing? You're such a liar. Alright, well, we healed. That's very reassuring that we need to heal. Uh, uh, it. Uh. It does look like we might be back in the basement dungeon. Kind of. Ooh, I like this song. What is this music? Uh, what? We should have totally brought Jody with us. Where are we? Core barrier controls. Enter key. Wait, hold on. This is very confusing. Looks like there's four keys. Looks like you can push this block from the other side. Okay. Yeah, it does look like there's four keys. And then... I assume that eventually lets us go down those stairs, if we can do it. Interesting. One of those crystals doesn't look like the others. It doesn't. Oh. It was a door. That... Most of an egg appears. What? Wait! Wait, huh? Why is there just most of an egg? <laughs> this is very odd. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna kiss Allison. Allison's gonna kiss me. And then Claire, you just uh, guard really quick. We got a kiss. Mwah. This egg is very scary looking. They really are targeting down Claire. To defeat them, delete system 32. Thanks. Yeah, totally. I believe that. Blink. Pause Claire to briefly disappear, making her completely invulnerable. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Do you repeat a lot of floats? A lore of floats? 
Yeah, uh, I wonder why it keeps repeating that one. I think you had it in a couple times, actually. <laughs> To be fair, we don't have a lot of quotes in yet. <laughs> Ooh, she learned Frost. Oh no, I might have fixed it. I remember I had to remove some that were repeats. Stop, 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 stop. I wonder if there's a way to clear this path. If there is, I don't know it. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Rocket Mia. Rip in space time. It's just here. Let's try Frost. So funny. <laughs> Thankfully, I can remove clothes. Inserted. Okay. Well, there's also this way. A lot of danger signs. I I agree. This looks very dangerous to me. Oh, this one's already flaming. That's good. way too much than it should. Do you just want the new one? That's not how it works, is it? It's always random. Is it always random at this point? I mean, I am starting to have doubts, I admit it. I admit I have doubts. But it's supposed to be. Do. That chest looks like it's talking. I am not sticking my hand in that. A grind corti. That should work as some good. I mean, I guess you could wear this as armor. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, does it? This quotes be- I mean, there's only like four- like, uh, I think like six quotes or something. What? <laughs> Mobile whole hound. Oh my god, he has pants. He's such a cutie with the pants. I'm happy that he can move around. 
Uh oh, I got a healer. Corrupted? What is that? Where'd it go? What? Oh my god. You leave Allison alone. Wait, Allison can't even do anything. No, Allison! I did not mean to double guard, I meant to freaking heal. There you go. The glitchy background reminds you glitchity in Gen 1 Pokemon games. It, it does not I like the glitchy aesthetic, but it's, you know, I like, um, definitely in terms of like, like horror and freaking you out. I always like the glitchy aesthetic the most. I think it's fun. It still freaks me out, but it is fun. doing welcome to the stream please drop a follow on furry metal fur it so you get to see their slinky mode welcome to the stream happy valentine's day as well i'm gonna make a second file because i did lose my one of my tears of revival and i'm a little sad about that Oh, these rips in space time, man. I'm gonna try to reset my MP. Question of the day. Today's question is What's the weirdest thing you bought? 
Oh, another grand grand quartier. That's good. I need to get something for Claire. What is this? Is this a computer? This thing is downright ancient. It's so old I don't even think it has a mouse, it just has arrow keys. I wish it had a trackball, that'd be fun. Allison, were you the type of kid who would always steal the trackballs from the old mice in the community lab? How short-sighted do you think I am, Claire? I couldn't have gone and played flash games in the middle of class without a functioning mouse. True. Anyway, Melody. What does it say on the screen? It might be important. It almost looks like an email client. There's a message open on the screen. Things will get interesting down there once this process starts, so you may want to know this spell to clear away a certain type of corruption. Oh, there are directions for some kind of healing spell. That might help us get out of here. I learned Purify. With this, you may clear block paths in the dungeon and cure party members of corruption. Perfect. The corruption was not great. A gummy etcher and sketch. <laughs> that is very odd. How does that work? Who could this message actually be for, though? What's the process and why is there a functioning computer in the middle of, well, wherever we are? I'm personally too concerned about getting back to the surface to look at a gift horse in the mouth there, Claire. Does this count as corruption? Okay, so I guess to use it, I need to just go up to something. I guess we'll see. Let me look for one of the corruption thingies. Like over here. There we go. Oh, perfect. That makes up for the one I lost. Is there anything up here? No. That one was fine. There might have been something on the other side, though. Can I do it on this? No? Okay, no, that was the only one. But I did get a key. Oh wait, no I didn't. Hold on. Did I miss to go somewhere? Hmm. I can't go anywhere else here. Maybe there's a walkway on the other side I missed. You go look again. I don't see any. Let me look over here again. I could have sworn I remembered. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Okay, so I should be able to- ooh, I need, uh, to do a kiss. Ha! Dodged. Oh. It's fine. Okay, so I can do Gust. Now let's all just smack this. Okay, I missed. That's fine. Let me heal you. Do a kick. And, um, I guess we could just do blink on you. <laughs> Peace out! <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. How does a gummy action sketch work? Does it actually work? 
Or did it just look like an Etch-a-Sketch for some reason? Like, it's a very interesting thing to make a gummy version of. Not to criticize, I'm just very curious. It's just this, it's just gummy shaped line one. Oh, so the lines are shaped like gummies? Okay, that's not what I imagined that thing would do. I am so sick of this lane. Me too. Okay, we still have one more key to look for. Did I miss something on this path? I don't think so. Oh no, that's okay. I just have to like see it to understand it honestly. Hmm. There has to be something else I missed here. Oh, here. It's hard to see those pathways a little bit. Most of an egg again. <laughs> what are these with these eggs? is thinking about his pants. That's good. I'm glad he's really thinking hard about it. Didn't even break a sweat. Hey, can't do any of those. I got less of an egg. What does less than a egg do? <laughs> It's a healing item. Let me see. Items. Less of an egg. Not quite as much as most of an egg. So it does restore MP. That's good. But alright, that's the last key. So now, I should be good. Oh, shoot. I did. I loaded on accident. That's fine. <laughs> it's just, just that one egg. I can find an egg again. Don't ask me why I turned my thing to the left. I don't know, it's just an instinct. Dodged. Yoink. I want a yoink. Dodged. Ah, oh, didn't steal anything. Boo.
Let's do dive bomb and frost. Mwah! Oh, I didn't get most of an egg that time. Or I guess less of an egg, that's what it was? Dang. Probably because I tried to steal from him. Unfortunate. Alright, this time I'm gonna save, but I'm not gonna accidentally load the save file. There we go. <laughs> so I put that one in. So I just need the upper left corner and I'm good. Oh, right, I need to go around. I needed to push that before, and I forgot. Boo. Or, you know, it could do that. Pushing never works the way I think it will. There we go. You may now proceed to the core. Perfect. I love the core. Are we ready for this? It'd probably be a good idea to use the save station to rest up at that couch we saw earlier. Um, we're not ready. Yeah, I should probably go to the couch. That would be good. Thank you for being smart, Claire. Sure, why not take a nap? Naps are great. Unless you're me, I'm actually not very good at taking naps. They always make me very tired. But if Allison wants a nap, Allison gets a nap. Okay, now we're ready. Okay. Interesting. Not what I was expecting. It's like a rainbow tunnel. Hello? Oh, this guy is looking at us. Poor guardian. He looks very fancy. I like it. This is like the first enemy who's not like, I guess, well, other than the egg, the first enemy who doesn't look like just cute, but looks interesting. I, the egg was interesting for other reasons, though. Okay, let's do a kiss. Attack. And let's just do frost. Mwah. Dodge. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and kiss Melody as well. Kiss myself with Allison. Um, just because I don't know what to expect. Mwah. Whoa. What? Okay, I think its attack is up. Um, normally what I do in this situation is guard. So let's do a full guard. This is what I do in Persona anyway. It looks like he's gonna do a super attack. I get guard. Okay, so it's sword form. Okay. Let's do... Gust. And a dive bomb. And we'll scorch. Resist the uh, scorch, it looks like. What's he doing now? Okay, he's back to normal. Heal Claire. And attack. And... Burn it. Let me heal myself as well, so Melody stays up. Let's do a... Let's do a left jab. I don't know what the difference between all the jabs is, but, you know, why not? the whole party. 
No burns on this dude. Defense mode. Alright, no problem, Farrah. Thanks for dropping by. Have a good rest. Well, since I'm not going to be able to do this much this turn, why don't we go ahead and heal, kiss, and we'll just try to attack. Okay, so its weakness is the ice. Going back to attacking. So tanky as Melody. That is the that is the joy of being a paladin. I'm so tanky. Let's do dive bomb and frost again. There we go. Goodbye, core guardian. Didn't even break a sled. Oh, I leveled up. Neat. Herbal cure. You can never have too much MP. More skills. Nice. All the skills. Good lord. I guess I was right about you two being ready for a bigger challenge. Just how much power did that Fortuna spell give you? As much as I'd love to gloat, at the moment I'm more concerned about the fact that this is a dead end. Did we turn back? Maybe everything shifted around back there to give us an exit. Oh, uh, huh? Hello? Another monster? Resorting to name calling, are we? You look interesting. You're definitely not a furry. Honestly, the nerve. You barge onto someone else's property and pummel every living thing in sight, and you think I'm the monster? Uh, um, um, is that all you have to say for yourselves? Okay, two things, dude. One, if you keep trying to scare my girlfriend, we're gonna have a problem. And two, can you lose the goofy mask? I know my good looks may be hard to believe, but this is just my face. That... Okay. Hmm... Nothing, don't worry about it. Oh, you think I look peculiar, do you? Well, the feeling is mutual, you weird little... Ear creature. Wait, do you not know what a rabbit is? Please, I never claim to be a zoologist. You don't actually think you look funny, by the way. That would be very rude to the only person who might be able to help us leave, right, Allison? Yeah, I really love that one piercing eye that stares directly into my soul thing you've got going on. <laughs> as much as I love these cute little attempts to win my favor, I believe we were discussing something else. Oh yes, you three are trespassing. Enma, I love you too. Happy Valentine's Day. Guys, please make sure to check out my lovely Enma over there. We're gonna have a sushi date, I promise. <laughs> Mostly because I really want some sushi, I've been craving it all day. <laughs> Only half a heart. <laughs> Thanks, I got them at the glasses store. <laughs> I know you'd like them, huh? <laughs> oh yes, you three are trespassing. What are you doing in here? Other than causing property damage. We were trapped in here. We're just looking for a way out and defending ourselves against the monsters, we swear. Figures. Just three locals acting like they own the place before we're even ready for guests. So, you're responsible for all this? You made this whole dungeon all by yourself? I'm not quite sure I would call it a dungeon, but yes, this faculty is under my jurisdiction. Things were shaping up quite nicely before you three start knocking out my underlings. 
even the most of an eggs. <laughs> oh, those are yours, the most of an eggs. Uh, why not a whole egg? Those poor, helpless, most of an eggs. You've crushed their self-esteem. Okay, but what exactly were you doing building a weird labyrinth down here underneath our town? I could ask you the same thing about your little dungeon now, couldn't I? Oh, so you've heard of my work. Claire, now's not the time. Um, excuse me, I don't think we've caught your name. My name is Javis. Not Jarvis, I was just thinking that. Javis. J-A-B-I-S. Everyone always gets it wrong. You may also refer to me as Sir, if you wish to grovel. Okay, Mr. Javis, sir. What exactly is going on here? Oh, just making some preparations before my superior's arrival. Hiding up would be the phrase, I believe. Your superior? Who's that? And why do I get really bad feelings about that? Haha, <laughs> whoops. I probably said more than I should. It's none of your concern. Is it a dog? I noticed that a lot of letters are B, A, and R, K, and I just keep seeing bark all around the screen. I'm letting you three off with just a warning. You're lucky I had better things to do right now than deal with you. Just for future reference, quit punching my subordinates and try not to wreck anything else of mine, okay? But I love wrecking. Well then, I have good news for you, you horrible little creature. It looks like the scrambler was damaged in your little skirmish and is going critical. This whole facility will be gone in a matter of sections. What a shame. I'll be leaving now. Let's hope we never meet again. Wait. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Boom, Are we're good. We're fine. The heck? Was that an alien? Well, okay. Are we alive? That's a good question. Claire, is this hell? <laughs> Allison, I don't think we're in hell. Or just like a personal hell. It's a cave. That doesn't exactly answer the question. Is that whole dungeon really gone just like that? Looks like it. Oh, thank God. I was starting to think we'd never get out of there. See what I tell you, Mel. You got nothing to worry about with me watching your back. Thanks, Allison. I can't believe it's all gone. What a waste. Claire, that dungeon was bogus. I know, but that was like our first real adventure. It was such a good learning experience. I wish I had the chance to take notes. Well, next time you get stuck in a reality-warping dungeon built by talking videotape, I'm sure you'll remember to bring a notebook and a pen. Now, I hope this is the last time I have to say this today, but let's find a way out of here. Hmm. Where is the way out? I don't see any other doors. I mean, I see the way we came in through. Maybe we have to, like, backtrack? Are we just backtracking? It's fine. Maybe the door is finally open again. Oh. Okay, this is different. Um... Which way is the way? Which way is the way? I have no clue. I think I came in from this way. Originally. I can't say I'm too pleased out there being a spike pit blocking our way here. Hmm. Spike pit duty is usually Jody's thing. Come on, you gotta have some trick up your sleeve for spikes. You know, like a million spells. Well, I don't exactly think setting these crystal spikes on fire would improve our situation here. We'll just have to see if Jody can help us with these. Damn, I want the- I want the chest. Oh, a rope! Handy! Oh my god, we did it! We made it out of there in one piece! Well, three pieces, because there's three of us, but you get my point. 
See, I told you we had it under control. Are your adventures with Jody usually that whack, Claire? Or was that new? That was... Well, it was something else. I'm still processing it, I think. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm exhausted. I'm heading back to my place for a nice long nap. Oh, before you go, maybe we should, you know, keep what happened down there to ourselves. For now, at least. If Faith finds out about the whole basement dungeon thing, we'll never hear the end of it. I'm not sure anyone would believe us if we told them what we just saw anyway. Eh, you're the boss. That sounds like a good idea to me. Mally, come on with? Oh yes, I could really use some rest myself. Claire? Okay, I was afraid she was gonna go back in there. I would like to say, please. Later that night. Melody must have gone for a walk when she got up. Shouldn't be too hard to track her down. Hmm. Ah, I see her ears poking out. There she is. Gonna sleep? Just a little restless, I guess. How'd you know I would be here? I didn't. This is my fourth guess. Want some coffee? Oh, what kind of coffee? The extremely sugary kind with very little actual caffeine. Just how you like it. Wow, me. <laughs> I put way I would put so much cream and sugar in my coffee. You shouldn't have, but I'll take it anyway. Well, today sure was interesting, huh? I certainly can't say that's how I expected to spend my Monday. What do you think would be different? Less eggs, mainly. Fair enough. Hey, you did great, though. All that healing and junk. We couldn't have done all that without you. I probably would have gotten punched clean through a wall and left a bunny-shaped hole in a, like a cartoon. Hmm. <laughs> I could have done better. I mean, you did die once. I don't know. I could have done better. Oh, come on. You're a great healer, Mel. Don't worry about it. You know, I'm gonna worry about it either way. I guess I can't help but worry about next time. I mean, what if I freeze while fighting stronger monsters and I'm totally useless? Mel, it's not good to judge yourself based on how useful you are. I mean, that's not how you look at other people, is it? Of course not. And don't look at yourself like that, either. I think you made a great healer. And I think you saved my butt at least seven times today. Maybe more. I've lost count. But even if you do end up deciding this isn't for you, that's not the end of the world. It really isn't. Hmm. Hmm. Explain or change the subject. Change the subject. I explained myself a lot earlier. So, what about you? Is the skill thing growing as well as you'd hoped? I mean, pretty much. Aside from the weird limbo dimension or whatever we stumbled into, I can't complain much. You don't sound unenthused. No, I am. I'm just groggy. We're doing great. I guess it just doesn't feel completely real yet. I don't have any reason to be concerned, though. It's fine. My brain is just being dumb and not letting me relax. I know the feeling. But you wanted to do this your whole life, right? Yep, pretty much. I mean, it's hard not to want to be an adventurer when most of your formative memories involve tagging along with your mom and her legendary adventures. I can't even imagine what that must have been like. Well, okay. My mom probably didn't take me on her grandest adventures before we settled in Green Ridge. Probably just the more toddler-friendly ones. All the legendary adventures with no sharp objects or potential choking hazards or swearing. Everything felt really grand to a little kid like me, though. My mom was the coolest person in the world to me. She isn't afraid of anything. It was like being the kid of a superhero. So I guess because Pearl always thought that being an adventurer was the coolest thing you could be. But I still feel pretty much the same. 
Maybe that's a bit much to live up to. I should just be happy I'm getting the chance to do this at all. Especially with you, Melody. Hey, have I ever told you why I chose the name Melody? I don't think you have. Why do you ask? I don't know. We're just reminiscing now, I guess. So, you know I always have to overthink everything, right? So I really wanted to make it count. I couldn't just pick any name. Melody sounded like a sweet name to me, and... Well, this probably sounds stupid, but... I thought that, in a song, the melody is sort of the centerpiece? Like, the focal point of the song. It's got a certain confidence to it, and it's a part of the song that most people pay attention to, right? I don't know. That might be all wrong. But maybe I shouldn't have taken music theory in high school. Or maybe I should have taken music theory in high school. No, that makes sense to me. And I did take music theory. I thought that if I just heard it enough, I'd start thinking of myself like that. Like my name represented the kind of person I wanted to become. Not just the girl part, but like everything. Someone more confident in her voice, I guess. Sorry, I'm being such a downer, aren't I? Do you remember what I said to you when you came out to me in faith? You said that if I spelled my name with an I, then I could dot it with a heart? And that be cute? Why did we take so long to start dating? <laughs> because we're a couple of dummies. Are you there, my queen? I've got a status report on the operation and... Uh, whatever it is they call this horde planet. Last I heard, they were calling the planet Reverie. Reverie, that's the one. Anyway, I'd just like to report that everything is going according to plan so far. There may have been some minor setbacks, admittingly. But not to worry. We did anticipate the possibility of interference from the locals, after all. So we moved on to plan B. Nice work. Javis. Have you made contact with the potential recruit you had your eye on in Green Ridge? Affirmative. It was quite swim simple to sway her to our side. While she's inexperienced, she makes up for it with raw skill and passion. I see great potential in her. And if nothing else, her familiarity with the area will be of great use. Well, hey. If you ever forget the name of the planet you're on again, now you can just ask her. Good one, my queen. So when should I be able to make my grand entrance? I can only keep myself preoccupied for so long while you run around playing dungeon master and having all the fun. Very soon, my queen. If we remain on schedule, we should be ready within 48 hours. Wonderful. I hope they're ready for me. Act two. I think that act two is actually a great point to take another break, guys. So we're going to be right back, let the ads run, and then resume with the game very shortly. Hang on tight. It's only going to be a short break. I'll see you guys very soon.